Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Magical World of Dark Souls. Today, we finished the game. I know, sad face, but there will be more Dark Souls. I'll talk about that more during the credits, but for now, we gotta turn out Londo Dark, and we do that by killing all big boobs here. So, prepare to die. Addition to the Flame of Justice. Fire Tempest. <laughs> really? None of that hit you? Well, that's massively disappointing. Let's try Great Combustion then. Okay, fine. You are making this very difficult. What do we have? We have throw knives. That'll do, pig. That'll do. In the titty. Okay, so now in the Londo's dark, some shit's gonna go down. Now, the reason it's dark is because we destroyed the symbol of Guinevere. That wasn't her, it was almost a hologram of sorts, you could say. Created by Gwendolyn, her brother, the cross-dressing she-male we killed at the end of the last video. So she was fake, also so was the light in Londo, and assumably some of the enemies, because they all disappear when the symbol of Guinevere is destroyed. Now, we don't know exactly why Gwendolyn did this. But it's assumed he did it so that people would not realize that Anolondo had fallen to darkness and that the gods had abandoned it because Guinevere along with her father Gwyn are gods, as I believe is Gwendolyn, cause you know, it would make sense. So yeah, these guys are pissed that we killed Guinevere. Now unless I'm mistaken, I don't think they have any dialogue, but they are insanely dangerous, but uh, they don't- Oh Jesus! They don't respawn and they don't have any dialogue, so we don't know exactly why they- You bastard! <laughs> God damn it! Good parry. Okay, as I was trying to say before you know that son of a bitch went and killed me, we don't know why they're here or what they're doing exactly, but they seem pissed off that we do- Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no! They seem pissed off that we destroyed the symbol of Guinevere, so they are probably in the Dark Moon Covenant, but we don't know that for certain, but when you destroy a Guinevere and Anolondo turns dark, the Dark Moon Covenant can invade you here at any time, so that's probably what they're in, but again, we don't know this for sure. However, we are going to come across an NPC very soon who will identify herself as being a Dark Moon. Who has pissed at us? Yes, Dance of Death. You bastard. God, you deserve that. Right. So anyway, the keen-eyed among you will notice that the, uh, the giant sentinel buddies that are insanely dangerous are no longer here. Neither are some of the Silver Knights, however, some of them remain here. I don't know exactly why, but you know. That's a thing. So, uh, it's assumed that these also might be made by Gwendolyn and they're not actually real as well, just like Guinevere. But again, they might actually be real and they might not have realized that Guinevere was fake and they might have cleared out afterwards. Just like everything in Dark Souls, it's like 90% speculation, but uh, that's pro I, 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 my personal opinion. I would say they were probably fake, but I don't know. But uh, having said that, Ornstein and Small were here as well and they probably weren't fake, so why were they guarding her? Ain't got a clue. Maybe they were just guarding the Lord Vessel. So it was you, was it? How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you ever get this far? I shall end your suffering here and now. It is the least that I can do. It's interesting to note that she referred to her as a deity. Because she doesn't get pissed when we kill Gwendolyn. She's pissed because we destroyed the, you know, the Mirage hologram thing and Majig, whatever the hell it was, of Guinevere. But yes, yeah, she referred to it as a deity. But we know that's not actually her, at least, I would be very, very surprised. So, I don't know, man, this, this game is it's so full of secrets. It's like a puzzle, you gotta put it- Oh, Jesus! Son of a bitch! It's like a puzzle, you gotta put it all together, but some of the pieces are missing, and you kinda just gotta fill in the blanks for yourself. Go the hell away! Oh, by the way, quick tip, I know it's a bit late to be giving tips now, but, you know, it's great. If an enemy rolls or backsteps, they will always try and attack you immediately afterwards, so, uh, be ready for that, tank. Loving the boot. This man is a threat, Master Gwendolyn. <laughs> Master Gwendolyn. He's already dead, bitch. He's already dead. Alrighty, so that is it. We have turned Anolondo Dark and we have slayed its inhabitants. That's all I know about the storyline of Anolondo Dark, Anolondo Gwyn, Guinevere and all that shit. So, it's time to take on the final boss. And that's two ways I can get her. I could get Darkstalker Cat to, you know, swallow me and put me down there, but that's freaking disgusting. So, we gotta take the more fun method. And Bonsai! <laughs> I love it. Oh. 
Okay, so because we've killed the four kings, Nito, the Bed of Chaos, and Seif the Skeletus, we have all of the Lord Souls to offer to the vessel, to open the magical door into the kiln of the first flame. Now the kiln itself isn't that big, it looks gigantic, but the actual route to the boss doesn't take very long at all. You can run there in about a minute, maybe less, don't really know. But, uh, I love this place. Uh, people always ask me, what's my favourite area in the game? And I don't really know, to be honest with you. It depends if you're talking about level design, enemy variety, that kind of thing. But if we're talking pure aesthetics, just the way it looks, this place, look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so here's what I know about the Kiln of the First Flame. Basically, this is where you link the First Flame. This is how you stop darkness overtaking the land. Gwyn did that a long time ago. He killed himself in the process. He sacrificed himself. He is now kind of hollow. He's, he's not, he's, he's an empty shell of a man. He's been burnt out. This is why he's called Gwyn Lord of Cinder. He's been burned to a freaking crisp man. Speaking of which, the- You son of a bitch! <laughs> Excellent start. Absolutely excellent. Okay, so as I was saying, just like the Black Knights, the reason they're black is because they're actually Silver Knights, who, uh, they are Gwyn's most devoted followers. They followed him into the kiln, and they got burned in the process, and that is why their armor is black and not silver. It has been charred. At least that's what, you know, the story of the game says. Question is, why are there Black Knights outside the kiln? Don't really know. I mean, you could speculate that they've escaped somehow. It's, it's kind of up in the air. It's just one of those things in computer games. Maybe they're just outside the kiln because they are just outside the kiln. We ain't got a freaking clue, man. But yeah, basically, that's the story. These guys followed Gwyn here. Gwyn sacrificed himself to light the fires because if you paid attention, if you look at a bonfire, it's actually a pile of bones. And that's why you use humanity to light the bonfire because humanity is basically like a piece of a human. I'm pretty sure I've explained all this before, but uh, bonfires get kindled by, like, flesh and bones. That's what Gwyn did. He sacrificed his own body to light the flame to stop darkness from overtaking the lad. He's not necessarily a bad guy, although he has become one because, you know. As I said, he's basically an empty shell of a man now. He's all but a hollow. He is not who he was. He is a fallen god. And for us to kindle the flame ourselves and, you know, be the good guy, we got to kill him because he is not going to let us do that. He's going to attack us on such. By the way, if you want a PvP, this is one of the best, if not the best, PvP areas in the game. If you're human, you will get invaded in here. This is like the high-level PvP area. By the way, something I forgot to mention about Solaire of a story. If you save his life and you can do that, you can actually summon him for the final boss fight, which is kind of cool. I've never actually done it myself, but as I understand, in order to save Solaire, you have to donate 30 humanity to the daughter of Chaos, you know, the Spider-Woman. Crab people. Anyway, you give her 30 humanity, you can take the shortcut, and that allows you to go kill the Sunlight Maggot before it gets on Solaire's head. And we get the Black Knight armor here, yes. This is the one and only place in the game to get a oh, you son of a bitch, to get a set of Black Knight armor. So if you see someone wearing it, chances are they're on New Game Plus, probably. Alright, I'm back. And I'm mad. Nothing annoys me more than dying whilst I'm giving some kind of an epilogue. Screw you, you son of a bitch, come here. That's right, get freaking parried, take a club in the nuts, and then the face. Your big disgrace kicking your can all over the place. Jump attack! See, we will, we will rock you. We got another Black Knight shield. Yeah, if you want to farm Black Knight stuff, this is the best place, because goddamn, they drop it a hell of a lot. Like, uh, I usually, when I come through here, I get at least one or two Black Knight weapons every goddamn time, even without any drop rate. I mean, admittedly, I am using the Gold Serpent Ring, but there's a reason for that. I want the Black Knight Battle Axe. We have every single other Black Knight weapon and the shield and the armor because you know we picked it up. The only thing we don't have is a goddamn Battle Axe. There is one guy in this kill and I believe the next one we're coming up to that has a Battle Axe. So I'm going to farm this guy if we don't get it first time because I want this goddamn Battle Axe. It's my favorite Black Knight weapon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was the coolest death ever! I'm not even mad about that! Jump attack! Yes, suck it down. Give me the goddamn balance. Yes, finally! 
I had to kill like six or seven of those bastards. I swear that drop's way rarer than the other ones. But that could just be, you know, personal bias. I don't freaking know. Right, we got one more dude to take care of. Oh, Jesus. Stop it. Right, run. Just run. I don't care anymore. Okay, now the disappointing thing for me here is there's no actual cutscene when you fight Gwyn. I get that you know he's hollow and he's not gonna talk and it's all dramatic and shit. But there's tons of bosses in this game that don't talk. In fact, most of them don't. And they do- Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! Anyway, yeah, but they have cutscenes, so I think some kind of mini cutscene would have been cool here. But you know, they didn't put one in. Round two! Fight! Okay, so the easiest way to kill this guy is just to parry him, but uh, I'm pretty decent at parrying, I would say, but Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Round three, fight! <laughs> oh jeez, that guy needs to stab me up the ass. By the way, that guy with the whole bird can hit you right from behind. Through the fog gate, so you need to move if you don't kill him. Oh, da, da, da. That's a grab attack. You don't want to get hit by that, as you might imagine. Oh, da, 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 da. That's a bad win. Right, come here. Let me freaking parry you, you son of a bitch. Come on, buddy. No, no, no. I need to heal, please. Now you can kind of use these pillars for, you know to keep distance between you and him, but, exactly, he can't hit you right through them, just like that. Round four, fight. <laughs> God damn it, this is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm usually pretty good at win, because, you know, parrying is one of my better aspects of gameplay, I would say. I'm, I'm not particularly good at Dark Souls, but one of the things I can usually do is parry. But uh, apparently, I ain't that good at parrying Gwyn. Jesus, he's absolutely destroying me. Okay, attempt number five, I believe. So yes, as I was trying to say last time, you can use- Oh, Jesus! You can use the pillars or stalagmites, whatever the crap they are, for actual keeping distance to heal yourself, but, uh, he can just hit you right through them. He also has a lunge attack, where he'll sort of Superman forward and slash at you, shit! Oh, God damn it! And yeah, he can go through the pillar like that as well, so, uh, I appreciate you not killing me so far so I can talk when Jesus. Alright, round six, and I've changed the all scenes all because I know every time it kills me, it's because I ain't got no damn poison hits me once I get staggered and I freaking die. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can bury that flying attack, it ain't very easy. Right, as you can see, I've changed to my fire club of doom, and we're doing a hell of a lot of damage, because we start. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh, God, that was close, because despite being Gwyn Lord, it's seen that he's actually weak to fire. I don't know why he just is weak to fire. I'll take it, man. I'll freaking take it. Speaking of taking it. You can take it right now in the freaking grill, son! Okay, he's over half dead. We're doing very well here. No, 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 no. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, why did I go for that? I should not have done that. They nearly got me killed. Right, drink that freaking Estus, boy. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, parry? That's not a freaking parry. Come on, come on. Okay, this might do it. If not, we might be able to take him out as soon as he gets up. Okay, he's not quite dead. Moment of truth. Die! <laughs> Victory! We have beaten the game. A level goddamn one. Now you're a man, a man, a man, a man. Now you're a man, a man, a man. A man. <laughs> okay, there's the obligatory. I am level one. Okay, so there are two endings. Now, if we light the bonfire over here, we get the good guy ending. If, however, we walk out of, uh, where the hell is it? Over there. If we walk out over there, we get the Dark Lord ending, the bad guy ending. I have never actually seen the good guy ending. Never done it, never seen it in a video ever, so I don't know what it looks like. So out of curiosity, because it just seems fitting somehow, we will get the good guy ending. Alright, that's it. Game has been beaten at level 1. Thank you everyone that joined me for the Let's Play. It means a hell of a lot to me. 
I really didn't expect the series to be as popular as it is. It turns out this is the most popular series on my channel. I'm glad that Dark Souls has become, you know, more mainstream and popular as it deserves to be, because it's a fucking great game. And I, I hope that I did the game justice. I tried to, you know, just show everything I could, show all the secrets, give tips and tricks, that kind of thing. I tried to talk about the lore, I tried to give as much backstory about the game so that people would understand it. Because I remember the first time I beat the game, I didn't know what the crap happened. <laughs> I didn't know anything about the story, so hopefully, if you watch this, and you either hadn't seen the game before, or you had, but you didn't really understand the story, hopefully, I did the story justice, and you now know a lot more about it. So, I would just like to take this opportunity to point out, this is not the end of Dark Souls on the channel. I still have tons of PvP footage to go through. Good lord, do I have a lot of PvP footage to go through. I will be editing that, randomly uploading the Dark Souls videos here and there. Of course, it's got to slow down. It's not going to be, you know, four videos a week or whatever it is at the moment, but, uh... There will still be Dark Souls, don't you worry. There'll be random Dark Souls, there'll be Dark Trolls, there'll be Dark Souls PvP, all that shit. And I'll probably do some kind of playthrough again at some point. Maybe New Game Plus, maybe, I don't know, another challenge run of some sort. I'm not entirely sure, but it, when I do it won't be for a while, you know. We, we, we gotta space this shit out, man. Can't make everyone tired of the game. But yes, in the meantime, there'll be PvP, there'll be, you know, random Dark Trolls, random Dark Souls videos of whatever description in the meantime. And yes, of course, I will be doing Dark Souls 2 Day 1, and I will be absolutely terrible at it. Terrible. And if you thought I died a lot in this Let's Play, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Trust me. But yes, once again, thank you all for joining me. I hope I did the game justice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And do stick around for more Dark Souls in the meantime. And be sure to check out the other Let's Plays on my channel. You might find something you'll enjoy. Anyway, I'm going to let the credits roll. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.